Can ChatGPT help teachers be better at grading papers? For now, it seems like it's very useful at just particular aspects of the whole grading workflow. Hello, I'm Frederick Finks, and I'm researching AI's role in higher education. We found three curious teachers in higher education that wanted to test with us and they each shared an open-ended writing assignment of last year. This way we could easily compare the grades and the feedback that the teachers gave to that that JetGPT could give us. The papers were of very different complexities. They ranged from an entry-level one-page paper with a simple correction rubric to large and highly specialized internship reports with extensive rubrics. We started with identifying the core tasks in the whole grading process and looked for areas where ChatGPT would be able to help us. Then I spent a few days crafting intricate instructions for ChatGPT to be able to act as a reliable co-pilot for all these tasks. You can also get these prompts here uh, in the comments. To get fair and consistent evaluations, you need to be clear about your expectations. So no matter whether you're reviewing yourself or you have a human or a synthetic reviewer, if you have clear expectations, you will be able to have a much more fair review. It can be time consuming though to create these detailed rubrics. And our test participants found that ChatGPT is a valuable co-pilot there. It can guide them to create rubrics for their assignments or to add much more specificity to their existing rubrics. And in the same vein, we found that we could use ChatGPT as a sparing partner to also improve the quality of the assignments themselves. It's challenging to find the right balance of co-piloting. Right now, for simple papers, ChatGPT can already do the grading for you. It can give you breakdowns for the scores of each rubric, complete with feedback for the students on how to improve while testing this. I felt that it made me lazy. It didn't help me to improve the quality. It just made me go through this faster without judging myself. What did help was finding ways to keep me engaged and using ChatGPT as a sparing partner. I let it give me argumentation and examples for why it shows certain grades. And together we could discuss the awarded grades to work on this together as, as a collaboration. We only tested this for a few papers in ChatGPT. But how will this co-piloting balance change when you have to grade huge amounts of papers? That's our next step. We'll build a prototype to be able to evaluate large amounts of papers in a short amount of time. And we'll investigate how this potential productivity boost might also impact the quality of feedback and the engagement that teachers have. How will they want to interact with this? How will that make them feel? ChatGPT for now only works for evaluating short papers. It's because the underlying large language model, it has data limitations that affects the efficiency and accuracy with, with really long documents. Probably if you've used ChatGPT already, you've noticed it too. If you've been using it for a long time, it uses track of the conversation and loses the plot. And in our test, we were able to get useful grading help from ChatGPT only with compact papers of around one to two pages and with simple rubrics. For larger papers, it was possible to get evaluation help from ChatGPT only for rubric categories that were specific to very compact chapters of the papers. This limited context window is a common challenge with large language models that many people are trying to solve. For example, we tried some specific AI software that's focused at evaluating large documents and we saw some promising steps, but it wasn't a clear cut solution yet for this use case. To get productivity benefits from AI, it needs to be integrated with our current workflow and tools. ChatGPT is far from handy to evaluate multiple papers. It requires too much copy pasting between different apps. Ideally, this technology would be incorporated in the learning platform that the school already uses the platform where all these data sources already exist. Our platform recently launched an app marketplace that's worth checking out, but for now there aren't any apps yet that help with this specific use case of grading. Feedback to students now comes completely at the end of the process. And the teachers in the test, they propose that that is too late because the papers are already submitted at that point and reading the feedback won't improve the grades of the students. Two of the teachers hinted that it might be useful that the students would have direct access to these AI co-pilots. This way the students could learn more, they could create better papers before submitting them. Such a change wouldn't just mean improving the current process, 
but completely changing it around. This hints at an interesting next experiment that we'll do with students, where we'll investigate how they would feel about getting feedback from AI. So for now, ChatGPT is mostly useful as a co-pilot for fine-tuning rubrics and assignments. It's possible to help grade simple papers with ChatGPT, but it won't give you a complete productivity boost. And for it to be a true productivity tool, it needs to be deeper integrated with the current educational platforms. And lastly, this practical research brings us to a larger question. Can AI shift the assessment role from teachers to students? Will students learn more if they get the tools to do self-assessment? Are you curious to try it out yourself? You can use the ChatGPT starter prompts that we created. You can find them via the link in the comments.